Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be adding three digit and four digit numbers together and there's going to be a focus on carrying values over to the next column. And so on to the first question. So we have 6,445. And we're going to add that to 3,152. Now for this question, there's no carrying over. So it's a good opportunity to refresh our skills from Monday and Tuesday's mini maths tasks. So let's write, rewrite our calculation. So first of all, we have five units add two units which would be seven units. Just need to place these in here. Then we have four tens, add five tens, which gives us 90. Don't forget our units in here. Then I have four hundreds, add 100. To give us a total of 500. And finally, in our thousands column, we have 6,000 added 3,000 to give us a total of 9,000. So that gives us a final answer of 9,597. And next we're on to question two which is 547. And we're going to add that to 598. Now, before we look at the written method using our columns, the one thing we can do is we can take the calculation of 547, I'm going to add 598. And if we look at this number here, we recognize quite quickly that it's very, very close to 600, which is a nice round number. And if we look at adding our 547 to this new 600 here, we get a final answer of 1,000. 147 and because we added two here to make it easy for ourselves we need to reverse that and take the two back off to give us a final answer of 1145 and it's really important that we keep a close eye on numbers just to see if we can use mental addition um, uh, and slightly adapt them, may have to add a little bit on or take a little bit off, and ju but just make sure that you readjust your answer according to what you did at this point here. And so back to the original written question. So first of all, in the units column, we have seven and eight. Then in the tens column, we have 40 add 90 and finally in the hundreds column we have 500 added to 500. I'm going to add those together. So let's have a little look at what we have. So the first thing we need to look at is 7 add 8 which gives us 15. Now we can't place all of this 15 into one column so what we need to do is we need to take this 10 here and place it in this column. And that is why we carry that extra 10 over. And that leaves us with a five in this column. Then we come over to the tens column and we add the 10 that we carried over, the 90, which makes 100 plus the 40 for 140. For 140. 40 and as we can see here that extra hundred here comes over into the next column
So when we add up our hundreds column, we have 100 down at the bottom, 500, that's 600, add another 500, that's 1,100. So that's 1,100. And we can carry this extra 1,000 over into the thousands column. As we have no thousands in our thousands column, our one thousand is placed here. So when we bring our units up, we have five, then we have four tens, there's one hundred, and finally we have one thousand giving us a final answer of 1,145. And next we have question three. So that's 832. And we are going to add 427. So again, if we break it up into our units, we have two units and seven units. There's three tens, that's 30, added to two tens, which is 20. And finally, in the hundreds column, we have eight hundreds, 800, plus the four hundreds, that's 400. And when we come to add them together, we have two units, add seven units, which is nine units. Then we have 30, add 20, which is 50. And finally, we have 800 add 400, which is 1,200. And what we can do with this 1,000, like on the previous question, it can be carried over into the next column because we don't have any other 1,000s to add to it. So this gives us a final answer of 9 units five tens, two hundreds, and one thousand, for a final answer of 1,259. And on to the final question for today, which is 6,045. So there's no hundreds and 45. And we're going to add that to 2,000, 326. Okay, so let's split this number up. First of all, we have our units. So that's five units and six units. Place our lines down at the bottom. We're going to add the four tens and the two tens. So that's 40 add 20. In the hundreds, there's no hundreds here, and we have 300 below. And finally, in the fourth column, in the thousands column, we have 6,000 added to 2,000. So let's have a look at adding them together. So the first thing we need to do is add the units. So that's five add six, which is 11. So we have 11, and we can't place that into a single column or a single square. So we need to carry this 10 over into the next, next column. And then we add the 40, add the 20, which is 60, add the 10 that we carried over from the units to give us a total of 70. Then into the hundreds column, we have Zero hundreds add three hundreds. Well, that's nice and easy. So that's three hundred. And then for the thousands column, we have six thousand add two thousand to give us a total of eight thousand. So when we place our final answer in the top calculation up here, we have a single unit. We have seven tens. 300s and finally 
eight thousands for a final answer of eight thousand three hundred and seventy one. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.